came up in lights He just wants to be heard Whether it's the beat of the mic He feels so unlike everybody else Alone in spite of the fact that some people still the past, you know? about the past Cause that was yesterday It's a new day, bro I'ma put it on My the line day. Cause it's gotta do it now. Hey, hey, hey Gotta stay on the grind Cause it's my time hey, My time hey, My time, hey, my time. Hey, If you with me, let me hear you say it's my time. This what we've been waiting for right here, y'all This moment right here It's my time, my time, baby Come on, no slow The runners Guess what time it is, my, my, my time You can check your iPhone, better say it's our time I don't even need a watch, I don't even see a clock Soon as I walk in, it feel like me o'clock Yeah, me o'clock, every time my checks Don't measure up and try to blame the Pyrex I'ma do it bigger than a 5X Can't ride with a L, so I don't drive less Game so bickery, so full of trickery Nursery, rhyming, hickory, dickory Blowing that sour, the hood call it pickery Biggie, puffy, buster, victory I think that something that has always guided me on and off the field is for my coach, Clint Myers. Greatness is a way of life. Whether you are on or off the field, a person should always strive to be great in whatever they do. I didn't truly understand this until he left to Auburn my senior year. I needed to be great on and off the field as a leader and important individual on my team. When in school, I strive to be great and do the best I can. On the field, I work hard to make myself and teammates better. When striving to be great, you will see the positive changes you can make and inspire others to make the same. I use this message a lot about how to train and play at your best. It represents a good balance of humility and confidence. Practice like you are the worst player on the field, play like you are the best. Yes, and there's a couple things we want to talk about today. 
And one of the things I want to hit on is something that we always say, and it's called 20 on 1. And whether you're a pitcher, whether you're a hitter, um, just knowing that you're not alone and that there is no small roles on the field and on the bench, but there's only small players. Um, but just coming from my point of view, being a pitcher and having everyone on my side and on my team is so huge for me being on the mound because if one person out of like the 20 or how many you have on your team, if one person isn't behind you, that your team is not going to do as well. You know, you're not going to perform as well because it's just the game knows. The game knows if everyone is there. The game knows if everyone is putting their effort 100% in every day. So when, you know, bench players, field players, when everyone's on the same page and it's 20 against one, that's when you're going to perform at your best. And as a pitcher, knowing that the girls on the bench, knowing that the girls in the field, that they're all behind you makes you perform better. So that's one thing that has always helped me is knowing that my family is behind me and I can trust them with everything I have. That I can go out there and I can perform at my best because they have my back, that they're, you know, I'm always going to treat them with respect and they're going to, you know, have my back all the time. So that's something huge, that there's no small roles. And I think just having trust within your teammates is super huge on my part. All the above, all the above, all the above, all the above. So, obviously, like, every hitter, like, you can't avoid a clutch situation. And um, for me, it's it's all about routine. Like, nothing changes. So, every time you go in the box, you need to do the same exact thing. You need to say the same exact things to yourself over and over and over again just to build up routine because if you let yourself think the situation is too big for you, chances are it is too big for you. Um, so, you have to treat every single at-bat, every single practice at-bat, every single cut off a tee. Every single bunt, sack bunt, every single thing that you do, you have to treat it like it. Game seven of the World Series, it's on. Um, and you have to develop that every single day. It's not something that you could just switch on and off. There's no such thing as this clutch gene where these superstar players just have this random ability to go out and, and get these, these hits in these high-pressure situations. It's a product of putting in work every single day raising the pressure inside yourself, putting pressure on yourself, relying on coaches and, and your other teammates to put pressure on you. And um, Every every at-bat's a product of something that you put in, either the day before, two days before, a week before, whatever it was. There's no such thing as good luck. There's no such thing as, you know, that clutch gene. It's all a product of, of what you put in. And you're only going to get out of the game what you put into it. <laughs>
For my dreams to turn into something I could believe in And looking for that magic rainbow on the horizon I couldn't see it until I let go Gave in to love and watched all the bitterness burn Now I'm coming alive, body and soul Feeling my world start to turn And I'll taste every moment and live it out loud I know this is the time Like, 
Jack's one of my best friends. We're sitting here just chilling, hanging out, doing this video. Like, I just mm -hmm. brushed my teeth five seconds ago, and <laughs> here we are. You know what I mean? It's just, it's awesome. And the connections you can make can get you so far in life if you just take advantage of it and be a good teammate, be a good person, put other people before yourself, make others' interests above your own. And um, you can go a long way if this game, if you just stick with it. Mm -hmm.